is New Hampshire. And this is where I grew up. I think that when most people think of New Hampshire, they think of farms, mountains, lakes, snow. I think the image that comes to most people's minds is either like Hickville, farms, or like gorgeous landscapes and classic New England beauty, which, I mean, both of them are kind of true. Or honestly, when I tell most people that I'm from New Hampshire, they say, Gesundheit because they don't know what the fuck New Hampshire even is, even though it is a state in the United States of America. I've honestly just gotten used to telling people that I'm from north of Boston, which is kind of sad when you think about it because New Hampshire's a wonderful place. I'm here in my backyard, but let me take you around some of the places that meant a lot to me growing up in this beautiful state. Now. I grew up in Manchester, which is the most populated city in the state of New Hampshire, with just a little over 100,000 residents living here. I grew up in this neighborhood, where almost all of my early best friends live in these houses right here. This is on the east side of Manchester, and my parents moved into this house in 1994. They moved from Los Angeles, ironically where I live now. I was only one years old, and this is the only home that I ever knew. Here's a couple of fun things about Manchester. Um, its nickname is, well, I think its actual nickname is the Queen City. Don't know what that's all about. But the nickname that I knew growing up in the mid 2000s, late 90s, was Mancha Vegas, baby. I'm not exactly sure why it's called Mancha Vegas, but I think that it has something to do with the irony of the fact that there's almost nothing to do here. We are about to embark on a lot of my, my haunts growing up. But before we do, I of course had to make the very first stop. They say America runs on Dunkin's, and I'm not sure that's true, but holy shit, New Hampshire runs on Dunkin's. This is the Massapequa Audubon Center, and this is where I spent every summer from like 1998 to like 2000, I don't know, 14. I was put into summer camp here at the small tender age of five years old. From five to 12, I was a camper. From 13 to 14, I was a counselor in training. And from 15 to 21, I worked here every summer as a counselor. And my last year here, I was the assistant director of this summer camp. This place holds so much meaning to me when I think of coming home and coming back to New Hampshire. Not only did I spend every summer here, but I also worked the winter camps and I would come here after school sometimes to volunteer and take care of all the little critters that they keep here. Most of these animals have been here since I started coming here in 1998. This is why I'm not afraid of snakes or any other kind of reptiles. That's Kai and Nye. And somewhere in there is Crazy Gramps. I think he's hiding. That's the reason I'm, he is the reason that I'm so unbelievably obsessed with turtles. The Massapequa Audubon Center is an educational place where the community can come together and learn about the habitats and species native to New Hampshire. They have miles of protected trail lands and fields. I love it here so, so, so much. This place is so special to me that when I wanted to get my first tattoo, I got a loon because it is the logo for this <laughs> for the Massapequa Audubon Center. It is at the Audubon that I learned what it means to take care of the earth and to care about animals and sustainability in a really big way. And I don't know if I would be the kind of person that I am today if it wasn't for everything that I learned here. This is Weston Elementary School, where I went to elementary school. And I'm not gonna get out of the car and film any more of it because School is still in session and they're elementary school kids and I'm pretty sure I would get like arrested. I might get arrested for this if someone sees me. I seriously do feel really creepy, but this is the playground behind the school. In elementary school, so many lovely, wonderful things happened to me. I had my first kiss right underneath the bridge part of that <laughs> playground. And you know, it was elementary school, so I don't really remember a whole bunch about it. This is a hillside, which is relevant because this is my middle school and it's called Hillside Middle School. Again, I don't know how I feel about um, filming with, in front of a school with children. This is the hillside that Hillside is named after. <laughs> in middle school, I met all of the girls who would become and remain my best friends for my remaining time in Manchester. I don't really remember much else. I mean, it was middle school, it sucked. I had braces, we don't talk about it. This is my high school. It is actually four buildings across the campus. It looks like they're doing the Memorial Day ceremony right now. 
<laughs> right where I was gonna go film, so that's fucking awkward. It's the biggest high school in the state of New Hampshire. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's true. I had my very first makeout session in the stairwell of that building. I joined theater in that building. Yeah, overall, I loved high school. I had a good time with some hella fucking awkward moments because let's be honest, I was a gigantic dork. I mean, I was like objectively not cool. <laughs> But I kept myself busy and I had amazing friends. If I'm gonna make a point in this video, which I wasn't really planning on, but I've been out of high school now for eight years and I know that a lot of you who watch me, you're still there. And I just wanna say, as a somewhat adult to a teenager, nothing that happens in high school matters. Socially, I mean, you should focus on getting a good education. Don't worry about the hierarchy or being cool or any of that bullshit. Just enjoy the friends that you have, find your group, whether they're cool or not, and have as much fun as you can have without worrying about the greater social implications. Because as long as you're having a good time, that's the stuff that you're gonna look back and remember fondly. This Cumberland Farms, which is like a convenience store, is right down the street from my high school, which is right there. And I used to walk here after school in between the end of school and play rehearsal and I would grab a bag of Doritos, an Icy, and a Red Bull. And that would be my after school snack. For like three and a half years I did that. It was not healthy. <laughs> Manchester was modeled after Manchester, England, which was the first industrialized city in the world. As such, we have gorgeous mill yards that were built during mass industrialization. Now they house various businesses, and when I was growing up, I came here every week, several times a week, because my dance studio was right there. It's not there anymore. Later in high school and in the summers that I came back from college, we would sneak beer and cigarettes down right here and smoke and drink by the river. Every year on the 4th of July, they have huge fireworks over the bridge and my mom would make us come every single year. There are a lot of iconic restaurants in Manchester. I mean, they're not actually iconic, but they are to me. But nothing is like La Corretta. And this is my childhood bedroom. It's not really worth showing you around because it looks nothing like it looked when I lived here. Uh, the house caught on fire last September and all of the rooms on this side of the house had to be redone. When I lived here, I had watermelon pink walls, a purple comforter, Star Wars sheets, a life-size cutout of Ron Weasley. I wonder how he did in the fire. Posters all over the room, pictures all over the room. Basically, my mom just turned into a really boring second bedroom. <laughs> Growing up in New Hampshire was great. I feel like it's such a cute, quaint little town, and honestly, I understand exactly how lucky I am to have grown up in a really privileged situation. I love growing up here. I love telling people that I'm from here. I think it's unique and interesting, uh, which are definitely two words I never thought I would use to describe New Hampshire. When I turned 18, I got the fuck out of here as fast as possible and moved to New Orleans, which is my actual favorite place in the entire world. And now, obviously, I live in LA. It's been a long time since I've called New Hampshire home, but every time I'm back here, it kind of feels like it's barely been any time since I left. That's all for this video. If you give, if you liked it, give it a like. If you want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe. I know there was no real point to this video, but I figured while I'm back home, I might as well make a whole video about Manchester. <laughs> all right, see you guys next time. Bye. Manchester.